Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to a new video. So today's video is going to be an easy way on how to learn to 3 tick fish. So you can actually get up to 110k XP an hour as you can see on screen, although that is at level 99, but you will get almost two times the experience of people that just AFK fish. So it's pretty good. So let's just jump straight into it and talk about what exactly is a tick. So a tick is a unit of time that's approximately 0.6 seconds long. So when you're doing regular fishing or commonly known as AFK fishing, every five ticks you have a chance of actually catching a fish. While using items, you can actually turn that into a three tick action. So that means every three ticks you have a chance of catching a fish. So that's about 1.6 times faster than doing AFK or regular fishing. So including dropping, that makes it almost two times as fast. So let's just jump into the requirements of actually doing three tick fishing. In terms of the requirements for three tick fishing, there really isn't any besides items. So you can either use Quebec claws and van braces, usually leather, or you can use herbs and a pestle and mortar. On the next slide, I'll kind of show exactly what herbs you can use. But besides that, there isn't really a fishing level that's required, although level 58 is recommended for barbarian fishing. So in terms of your actual inventory, like I said on the last slide, there's two different ways you can go about it. So the first one will be using herbs. So you can use either Guam, Marantel, Terramin, or Harlander herbs, along with a Swamp Tar, and of course a Pestle and Mortar. So with that inventory set up, you want to have one cleaned of whatever herb you decided to choose, along with a couple of your inventory that are uncleaned. So for the second inventory setup, you will be using Quebec Claws along with Van Braces. In my example, I used Leather. Usually Iron Man used this method as it has a little bit lower requirements and they tend to do fishing early on. A little tip is that you can actually wear one of the Van Braces, so if you mess up, you have another one to fall back on. So let's just jump in a game real fast so I can show you guys how to set up your runescape so we can three tick as easy as possible. So now that we're in game, I'm gonna show you guys a couple options that you guys need to change to make it as easy as possible to three tick. Just throwing it out there right now, I am using Runelight and this guide will be oriented to Runelight. So if you aren't already using it, I would recommend for you to switch. I know you can do the same thing with OS Buddy, although you do have to pay for premium. So I'm just letting you guys know right now before we get into the guide even further. So if I go to my options, you want to make sure that you do have your shift click turned on. And then if I go to display over here, you want to make sure that you have resizable on instead of fixed. So the other part is, as you can see, I have my rune light options over here. You want to make sure that you turn on your uh, menu entry swapper. And if I click on here, you want to specifically have customizable shift click turned on. So once that's turned on, and this is checkmarked, you wanna to go to your inventory and you wanna right click and see, you can see the configure shift click. So click on that. So by default, what this does is, so when you hold down shift click, you will actually drop your Quebec Claws or your Herb, but you wanna click on use. And so that changes the default option to use when you hold down shift. So if you wanna do it for the other one as well, so for my leather van braces, I'll change it to use. And then you want to right click on your inventory and hit save. So now whenever I hold down shift, it will actually go to use and then set a drop for both of these options. So now that you guys have all of these settings uh, set up, let's actually go do some fishing and show you guys how to three tick. Okay, so now that we're at a fishing spot, there's just one last thing that we have to do before we can actually totally get started. So what you want to do is go to your Windows uh, menu and type in keyboard as it kind of shows on the screen right now. I'll have a little image that shows it and then you want to open the on-screen keyboard. So if I pull that to the side over here, you can kind of see what it looks like. This is just the very left-hand side of it. This is kind of what I would recommend you to do. I'd pull the on-screen keyboard just, you know, right of your inventory like this. So what you want to do is right-click inside of your inside the client. You want to click on the shift button. It'll make a little noise on your on-screen keyboard. Then you can right-click back on your actual RuneScape client. So essentially what this does, this is going to hold down your shift so you don't have to actually hold down your shift if you want you can hold it down yourself but this just holds it down for you the reason why i do this instead of you know pressing shift five times to have sticky keys on is so i can actually type in chat i can literally just hit the shift button right there and i can you know type in my clan chat or whatever right so that's what i would recommend you guys to personally do uh that's what i did i just find it really easy personally 
So if we click on the shift one more time, and then what you want to do is actually zoom in. So the fishing spot is right next to your three ticking materials and make it very easy. So let's just get right into the three ticking. So right now I'll just show you what it looks like normally, real time speed. So this is just me three ticking. As you can see, I'm just clicking on my Kevic claws, my leather of and then clicking on the fishing spot. So I'm gonna slow it down and break it down for you guys so you guys can actually see what is really going on. So to start a three tick cycle, I'm gonna use the two items on each other. And then right when I start to see the crafting animation, I'm gonna immediately click on the fishing spot. So that's when you're gonna know the cue is you want it right when you start to bring out the knife um, and start going on it. It'll be pretty similar if you use a herb and tar as well. It'll just be a different animation that you'll be looking at. But you're gonna be wanting to click on it right when it starts to actually come out and not you know wait too long because then you might actually mess it up and make spiked you know van braces or whatnot. So the other very important thing is is when to actually start the three tick cycle again and when to start it over. So as you can see here, I click on the fishing spot and then my rod comes out and it starts to slap the water. So right when it hits the water, you can see the XP drop come up at the same time. That's when you want to restart the, the three tick cycle. And you want to go off of the rod hitting the water and not the XP drop. The reason behind that is because you won't always catch a fish. Even though I have 99 fishing, I don't always catch a fish. So you want to just practice this method. It's going to take you a little bit and actually getting used to it. But you want to keep practicing like this without dropping any fish. You want to fill up your entire inventory full of fish and just keep doing it this way. And then just drop the inventory at the very end after you know you run out of space. So you want to keep doing this until you get comfortable with actually being able to consistently do the three tick. And then we can move on to the next method, which is doing the three tick along with dropping. So now hopefully you're pretty confident with your ability to be able to three tick fish. So all we have to do is add in the dropping which should be pretty easy considering that we have the shift held on, whether you're doing it yourself on your keyboard or you have an on-screen keyboard like I do on screen, it should be pretty easy. So just like we did previously, you wanna click the two items together, but instead of immediately clicking the fishing spot, you're gonna to wanna to click the fish right below your two items and then click on the fishing spot as fast as you can. It'll take time for you to get used to it, but it's not too hard after you get used to it. It becomes, you know, like a cycle and you can kind of get into the habit of just doing it. The only hard thing about this compared to the previous method is now you're going to add a different animation that you run into. So you'll still get the animation of you crafting followed by the rod hitting the water. But that will only happen when you don't catch a fish. So now when you catch a fish and you drop it, you actually stand still instead of doing the crafting animation. And then your rod will hit the water. So that's going to be the main difference between the two. Um, but it just takes some practice of getting used to and hopefully me slowing down these clips made it a lot easier for you guys to understand and be able to follow along. So this is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that like button down below. It really helps out. If you guys have any questions, I can help you out. Just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Besides that, if you guys like the style and the you know quality of the video, please hit that subscribe button. It does mean a lot. I'm going to be putting out daily videos, so subscribe and you guys will get new videos every single day as high quality, if not better than this one. Besides that, that's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day.